So the ZV-E10 is what I've been using for my vlogging camera for a hot minute here. I love this thing, though it does have some, some issues with it. And you know, I've been pretty excited to see what Sony comes up with next. So recently, somebody did leak the specs for the new ZV-E10 II on a Chinese social media site. Now keep in mind, this is just a leak. It is not necessarily true, but you know what? We can sit down, chat about it, and get hyped together. So let's jump right into it. So I put the specs up on the screen here as I read from my phone. So first things first, uh, does not have an EVF just like the existing ZV-E10. Doesn't surprise me that that makes sense. 26 megapixel images, 759 AF points, but no AI tracking system. Uh, ISO 100 to 32,000. An integrated mic, just like the first one here. Sounds like it might be upgraded slightly. Something called Dynamic Video Stabilization Enhanced. Uh, 4K 60fps video up to 10-bit recording. A sort of focus breathing compensation and automatic composition mode. Sh subject recognition and tracking. A flip-up LCD screen and NPFZ100 battery type. So let's discuss what this stuff actually means and you know, that's actually an upgrade. So as we saw, no EVF, just like the first edition that I'm using. This is no surprise. Um, I've used this camera for photography quite a bit and it can be a little bit annoying, especially on a very bright sunny day not having an EVF, but I understand why they're not adding it in. It makes complete sense to me. The 26 megapixel upgrade, uh, it sounds like that's gonna be using the newer style of Sony sensor, so most likely the same sensor that's on the existing A6700 right now, as opposed to the, um, I think it, this uses the A6000 sensor on the ZV-E10, if I'm not mistaken. Out of focus doesn't sound like it's gonna be anything absolutely insane. It sounds like it's gonna be pretty standard on par with most Sony cameras. There's just no like AI tracking features or anything like that. No complaints from, from me though. According to the leak, the integrated microphone is upgraded a little bit. I found the integrated mic to be decent in a pinch, but I usually prefer using my shotgun mic here. Uh, I'll put a link to that up there if you guys want to see it. And then the dynamic video stabilization mode. It makes me think that there's still no actual IBIS. It might just be that same like digital stabilization crop in mode sort of thingy that the ZV-E10 uses, which I'm not too happy about. Uh, that's kind of the weakest point of this camera for me is the fact that it doesn't actually have legitimate IBIS. So that's why I typically use a, um, a stabilized lens when shooting handheld. The 4K 60fps is great to see. Um, I don't shoot in 4K much to be honest just because my laptop sucks. It can't really handle editing it efficiently and it takes up a lot of storage space and it's just kind of a hassle for now. But it's good to see for those you know that do shoot in 4K. I don't know how useful the focus breathing compensation would be. I, I think some Sony cameras do have that. I've never needed to use that. And then they also mentioned automatic composition mode, which I think some Sony cameras have, and it like tracks your face, and it'll like zoom in, it'll crop in, I guess, so to speak, the frame to like keep it focused on you. So kind of a gimmicky feature in my opinion, but I'm sure some people, you know, find that useful. Now, the one thing that does kind of worry me a little bit is the leak specifically says flip up LCD screen instead of flip out. I don't know if that's just strange wording, um, but I'm hoping that they don't do flip up only because with a flip up screen, you can't really see yourself in recording because you're typically using a mic on top, or at least I do. So I'm hoping they keep the same flip out screen, like the twist and flip out screen that the existing ZV-E10 has, but they just have to see. And then finally, the biggest upgrade in my opinion is the inclusion of the NPFZ100 battery type. And that's like the bigger, like modern Sony battery that lasts forever, as opposed to the Sony A6000 style battery that the ZV-E10 now uses that dies after like, you know, 30 minutes of recording. So that's a huge upgrade. So yeah, again, guys, these leaks, they might not be true. This leaker has been known to put out accurate information in the past, so you never know. But in any case, it's always fun to sit down and, you know, get hyped about it and, you know, have a discussion. Speaking of which, you know, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Uh, if this comes out to be true, are you going to buy the ZV-E10 II? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Is there anything you'd like to see? Let me know. And uh, thanks for watching, guys.